hey guys welcome to Android Guido. in this video we are going to review the pack room and uh, as you can see that uh, you know um, when I open the menu then there's a beautiful animation which comes to life and uh, you know this room is based on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 and it comes in with June security patch and uh, you know I am not using any custom kernel as you can see and uh, the built-in kernel is enforcing and the developer options are not enabled by default so you need to tap on the build number seven types to enable that and uh, you know this room is based on cyanogen mod as you can see and uh, you know before I get I would quickly like to show you the quick setting tiles which you get um you know these are the you get your battery saver in fiend mode um compass heads up you know these are the tiles you get and uh, these are the titles which are there by default i hope that you had a look at them and you know you will and uh, this you get the stock launcher trebuchet i hope that i'm getting the pronunciation right and uh, we do have ample number of options to customize the things as per our will and uh, the default wallpapers which we get in here are yeah you know these are the look wallpapers which you get i think that they have add some custom wallpapers too as you can see you know these are the ones which we get in fact you have many to choose from i'll just pick this one up for the video and uh, um you know you also have uh, a great number of apps in here too you do get audio effects as you can see and uh, you know then we also have pack console which we would get into now and then you know this is an unofficial build um now getting into the battery settings you know you can customize the battery icon style portrait landscape circle texture just hide it then you can show the battery percentage inside the icon or next to the icon you can just hide it too then we have the battery bar location either on top of the status bar top of the navigation bar or at the bottom of the navigation bar then uh, you can adjust the color of the battery bar you know you just select it for red um, maybe you know again as i have already told you that uh, maybe a system UA restart or uh, or maybe a soft reboot would be required to fix those things and then uh, you know battery bar charging color you know it sets up to green and uh, we have the low battery bar color too so you know you can just maybe blue and then you know you can just have that regular alignment which you know the regular one is aligned to the left of the navigation bar as you can see and the center mirrored one would be symmetrical right for the center of the screen and the reversed one would be you know it would be aligned to the right edge of the screen and i would prefer to have the center mirrored one then we have the battery bar thickness and i would like to choose a 2 dp then you can show the charging animation if you want to you can use the gradient color if you want that then you have the low level color and the high level color and you can just choose that as per your choice um sorry okay then next up we have the clock settings you know you can change the position of the clock right left center or you can hide it then we have the mpm style you know i will just show you both the font sizes the normal and the small one just see the change in the top right corner you know this is how the normal one looks like and this is how the small one looks like then you can you know the font sizes of the date small and normal as similar to the mpm st font styles uh, then you have various date sizes uh, date styles you know the lowercase one and the uppercase one and the normal one then we have various date formats you know you can just have a quick look at them and these are the options which you get um, then next up we have the network traffic you know you can either show the outgoing traffic or the incoming traffic or both of them then you can even customize the color and then you can choose the display unit bits per second or bytes per second then we have the update interval and you know you can just auto hide the net uh, the uh, the network traffic icons when there is no data exchange and then you can also customize the inactivity threshold then next up we have the status bar settings you know brightness control notification count quick pull down and you also have your smart pull down 
then uh, you know under the miscellaneous you can choose which option which icon of the status bar should be shown or you know you can just hide them by checking them off then uh, you have your time contextual headers you know by default i think that you get that nature back in and uh, then you can even uh, show or hide the super suit the super user indicator okay um then you know you can just uh, these are the various links of the uh, on how you can connect to the pack rom community you know you can by clicking on the website you can visit their web websites then you can you know connect with them on google plus facebook twitter instagram github or even they get it okay so that's what we have in the pack console and i'll just get in the settings now um on the sounds we have uh, um, nothing new in here and uh, you know the other sounds you have your dial pad tone screen locking sounds touch sounds volume adjustment sounds and you know you also have your charging sounds um then uh, under display and lights you know you have your brightness level adaptive brightness live display double tap to sleep rotation setting sleep timeout wake on plug then you can also change your wallpaper expanded desktop lcd density you know these are the options which you get you know my the default density for my phone is 240 and then you also have your daydream mode font sizes and you know you can show the search bar in the recent menu if you want to i prefer to check that off and then um you know this home comes in with the cm theme engine as you can see and then under notifications um you know nothing new in here too then uh, we have your lock screen settings um you know you can just show your weather here if you want to so it's great to have that feature and you also do get your lock screen shortcuts in here you know you can customize the bottom lock screen shortcuts um you know and the rest options are same as you see in cyanogen mod then we have your button settings here you know you can use your customize your hardware key actions from here then um, you know you can adjust your backlight time if you have hardware keys uh, you know uh, then uh, we have the left handed mode the left handed mode you know you can show the arrow keys while typing then we have the buttons and layouts i'm um, just show you uh, you know you can add a search button and a menu button these are the you know buttons which we get by default and then of course you know you can add an empty button to and just uh, customize its uh, settings for the um so I'll just restore the defaults and then um, you know you can also uh, uh, you know the uh, pressing the recents for a long time would take you to the last app and then we have your power menu we do have ample number of options here to you know reboot menu screenshot airplane mode and sound panel so this is how your power of menu would look like and then you can use the press the power button to cut the call then press the power button twice to launch the camera then you have your hardware key customizations you know uh, these these are the settings which you get then you have your volume rocker settings in the end you know you have, you have playback control control the ringtone volume keyboard cursor control and then you can just reorient the keys the volume rocker keys when your phone changes from portrait to landscape or vice versa then under battery you know you have the battery saver you know are the maximum percentage at which you can enable the battery saver is 15% as you can see um then the security you know, just make sure if to check the unknown source option if you plan to install any apps from your sd card or from the internet um then you, know, you do get your privacy guard blocked call list and protected apps and then you know you also have your pack room statistics you know you can just uh, enable this option if you want to help the pack room come the developers of the pack room to improve the room you know you can just have a look at the statistics which are being sent to the community um, you know maybe you, you know, this is the data which is being sent to them at the moment you know, so i they don't collect any private data so i would recommend you to enable that option so that uh, you know you can just help this uh, help the 
help this room become better and more feature rich um, in the end we have developer options now you can enable your advanced reboot menu then for root access you need to go to the developer options too then we have your android debugging so you know if you are make sure that you check check that option so if your phone goes corrupted or anything uh, then you know you can use your pc to flash the stock rom or even if uh, you if even if your recovery gets corrupted by mistake then even you can f uh, flash your recovery by through the fast boot mode um, and then you have your animation settings in here too we also have the multi window mode um, so guys nothing we don't have anything else in here so that's all what we get and the last thing which i would like to show you is this beautiful animation which we get in the recent menu you know when you just click on this this is the animation which you get so we don't have any new apps in here um we do have audio effects um you know these are the apps which you get okay so guys that's all um i would show you the widgets too um, so we don't have any um you know widget specific to the back room maybe if you guys would like to have a look at this widget then you know you can just control the wi-fi bloater the airplane mode sync brightness etc through this so it's great to have that feature too so guys that's all what i have got for you in this video so if you haven't subscribed to my channel then do that if you want to uh, get more uh, get uh, get a notification in when i upload my future videos and if you like this video just press that thumbs up button and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching have a nice day